welcome to my channel um today we're gonna talk about something that I didn't know about when I was pregnant and I ended up finding it actually by myself because my mom said something weird to me and I actually just ended up like you know what let me google this and find out what the heck this lady's talking about so um, as you guys know I was very very petite um, before I had my son I actually 5'9 and I weighed 130 pounds. Um, when I had my son, well, while I was pregnant, I actually gained 50 pounds during my pregnancy. And, you know, I can blame myself for that because I was eating everything. Everything tastes so good. I don't know, I think like when I got pregnant, someone turned on my taste buds and I just wanted to eat everything. Like, I was eating everything, but my cravings was pizza. I literally had to have pizza at least once a week. And my poor husband, he didn't have a choice. He had to give it to me. But anyways, what I'm talking about today is um, diastasis recta. Um, basically, when I was pregnant, after I gave birth, and you know, I, I came home, and I ended up actually having an episiostomy, so I had stitches so i really wasn't able to really recover um as quick as everyone usually do and they basically told oh my god why am i going down oh my chair okay anyway so i wasn't really able to recover as fast as um everyone you will actually everyone said i would because i was pissed teeth they're like oh you're tiny you're gonna bounce back blah 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 that's a lie it's a lie. First of all, I gained 50 freaking pounds. That's <laughs> that enough already let me know I was not about to bounce back nowhere. Yeah, I was all belly, but I was belly, thighs, and butt. So I don't know what they were looking at, but I saw a change. So after I gave birth, um, I noticed that I still look pregnant, but I looked like I was, I don't know, three months pregnant. So a good thing I had, like, I already bought, like, a belly band to wear, but it was a little softer one. So I was able to wrap my stomach. Um, you know, of course, I was bleeding because I had a natural birth. But, you know, I was able to wrap my stomach around that time. So my mom came. She was with me. And she basically did this thing, like, you know, Haitians know what a bang is. A bang is basically, like, they collect all these leaves, boiling hot water. And my mama beat me with the leaves, guys. Like, she... with the leaves and apparently that's supposed to help the body bounce back you know what I did feel a difference after because I wasn't so stiff after that the bang so um I was looking at myself in the mirror after and I was asking my mom I was like why does my stomach look like this you know my brother's uh wife she had a baby she was a toothpick but you know she didn't gain as much weight as I did but the moment she had the baby my stomach went right back flat I know this because I was in the room and I'm telling my mom like why does my stomach look like this and she basically you know told me in Creole oh you know two not want to basically letting me know you know I have a hole in my stomach I was just like I don't know what she's talking about what she talking about hole in my stomach because you know she'd be telling me these folk tales and I just be like okay I'll go with it but she told me I got a hole in my stomach and I just couldn't understand you know what she meant a hole in my stomach and you know my doctor never um, discuss this with me. I actually had a midwife and she never discussed anything like this with me. All she knows, all I know is that, you know, I'm going to give birth. We're going to do it vaginally and, you know, we're going to have this healthy baby and we're going to go on with our lives. But no one told me that I was going to have a hole in my stomach. So basically, um, I went on the internet and I just started researching what is this hole in my stomach that she's talking about. I literally type in hole in stomach after pregnancy and diastasis recta popped up and I was just like what the heck is this so with more research I found out it's actually a partial to complete separation of the recta of the of the abdominis which is basically your six your six packs split in half you know and um you know or in other words your midline of the stomach split in half so literally you have six pack and it splits in half basically to make room for the baby to grow and since I was petite I needed to make space for that big baby to come out so 
Um, once I found out about this, um, I definitely kept wearing my band because I'm like, how do I fix this? Oh my God, is this hole ever going to close? I'm like, I look so wide. Like I, I, I was shaped so boxy. I thought, oh my God, you don't understand. Like I was skinny all my life. And now I have abdominal separation and I don't know what to do with myself. All my clothes look weird on me. They all felt weird because, you know, this is not the body that I'm used to. You know, I'm used to, you know, skinny Aaron. It's the only Aaron I knew for like 27 years. And it's like now I have this new body and I had to adjust and you know what? It really, really took a big hit on my ego, my self-esteem. I was very self-conscious. I only wore baggy clothes, like literally sweats <laughs> all day, every day, sweat, sweater. It could be the hottest weather outside and my baby was born in August and it was hot. Like when I said hot, hot. I wore sweats. I did not care because I did not feel comfortable leaving the house and no one told me anything about this like if I knew about this I would have mentally prepared myself but no one told me so I'm just like oh my gosh <laughs> like what do I do so I started doing more research on it and um I found out it is not dangerous to have an abdominal split but you know in some cases it can be dangerous because you know one is a hole in your stomach so organs can actually poke out and which can cause you to have a hernia and you know with hernia repair it's usually surgery so that can be an issue but other than that you know it's not something that's dangerous or cause any harm so you know in my case I continue to wear my binder because I read online that you can um, actually it closes up six to three months that's what it says but I'm like eight months in and mine hasn't closed completely, but I do feel that it's closed um, way more than what it was before because literally like the test is to lay down flat with your knees up, feet flat, and you'll basically take your finger just like this right down. And basically you're like bearing down as if you're, you know, doing crunches. You would actually see a bulge come up. That's one indication that you have it. And when you actually put your finger down your midline, it actually goes down an inch or more. That right there, you can actually feel the separation. And, you know, I had a friend that came over and I explained to her what's going on, like one of my modeling friends, and, you know, I actually let her feel that gap in between my stomach and she like jumped up and screamed. And I was like, girl, imagine how I felt when I felt this by myself, alone, with the baby. Like, but anyways, you know, in some cases, for some people, six weeks to three months, gone other people it takes you know people like me it takes um uh, much longer for it to actually get away and it is recommended that you actually wear a binder or you know like me right now i don't wear my binder anymore because it's too bulky and plus you know i've actually um shrunk in my waist a little bit from what it was before so i actually wear a waist trainer with um everything i wear and you know i actually do feel the difference and i actually do see inches coming off my waist because of this and and also it's actually helping with the closing of you know of the abdominal uh midline so you know it's it's actually helping and you know i do feel much better and much more comfortable when i wear certain clothes um no nos i also learned that there are certain things that can actually make it worse um exercises that's another thing i was um i haven't worked out you know since i learned about this you know early on in my um after i gave birth and you know that's more the reason why i've been afraid to work out initially i actually started working out and when i noticed that that's when you know i got scared and i had to find out what was going on so i found out that uh certain exercises can actually make it worse and there's actually certain exercises out there that can actually help with the closing um crunches can't do crunches because when you do those crunches, same way how you're bearing down to test for the, uh, to actually test for the diastasis recta, you're actually going to see like a bulging thing coming right from the middle of your abdomen. You don't do crunches because that can actually make it worse and actually separate it even more. You don't do planks. Planks can actually make it worse. Twisting, you can't do all this twisting. That can, that makes it worse also. And jumping out of bed. Um, now I can jump out of bed because, you know, I, it's closing and I wear the binder, but like initially when you've, you know, first had the baby, you can't jump out of bed 
you know, you have to like roll off the bed. And you know what, when I was, when I gave birth, I was rolling off the bed against my will because I was in so much pain because I had to get stitches after the episiostomy. So I was rolling out of bed against my will, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would have still been acting like that if I didn't have the stitches. You know, I would probably try to like go to the gym and work out, but you know, I'm, uh, it's getting there. <laughs> so, um, another thing that I was, you know, I found out was, um, with the certain exercises we're in the binder and, you know, last resort is basically a tummy tuck. You know, if the exercises are not working, you know, the binder doesn't, you know, help while you're exercising with it. You know, the last resort is a tummy tuck. Like that's, you know, there's no way around it. You know, I have friends who are tiny just like me, had three, four kids, and their abdominal wall never been the same after that. And they had to get a tummy tuck. And with the tummy tuck, it gives your abdominal muscles a more viability to live, you know, longer, you know, versus, you know, having the flabby stomach and then, you know, it just never goes away and, you know, your abdominal muscle becomes weak and all that stuff. So, you know, I probably is not getting a tummy tuck more because of the fact that I'm not done having kids, you know, and also I don't feel like I'm going to need it at this moment. Because, like I said, I'm doing the whole waist trainer binder thing, you know, to prep my body for when I'm, I'm going to have a another child. So, you know, that's my little ramp. I know I was probably rumbling on, but, like, I feel like people need to know about this because a lot of people don't. Like, people like me, I didn't know about this. And, you know, this also incorporates with the, the mommy pudge. So, it makes a lot of sense to me why... Patients be telling me, you know, like, when you give birth, make sure you tie your stomach. And I never knew, like, what's the point of tying my stomach? You know, it's supposed to go back to normal, right? But, no. Like, this is actually one of the reasons why you have to tie your stomach, bind your stomach, you know, right after birth. Because some people, you know, majority of the women, this is what happens to them. And they don't know this is what's going on. And, you know, sometimes they make it worse because... I already know friends that, you know, did postpartum exercises and all that, and they probably, you know, caused it to be worse not knowing what it is and just ended up doing a tummy tuck at the end of the day. You know, I wasn't one of the lucky ones that bounced back. I actually had a friend that gave birth, and 10 days, that girl looked like she never had a baby. And I'm just looking like, not fair. But, <laughs> you know, I don't mind the weight gain. You know, I got a butt now, y'all, so... I'm not mad about that. I didn't have one before. Hubby's happy, so, oh well. <laughs> you know, I just have to get used to this new body that I have. And, you know, every day I feel like, you know, I'm growing onto it. You know, I'm starting to like it. I like the way I look in certain clothes and, you know, I didn't used to look like that before. I was literally, like, toothpick. And my husband actually told me that I gave him, like, cute crackhead vibes when I first met him and he's just like the reason why I just stayed with you because you was cute I was like I gave you crackhead vibes and he's like yeah I gave you crack yeah crackhead vibes but it's okay he's not the only one that said it my friend Tina said it also but it's whatever but thank you for tuning in and thank you for listening to me ramble on um but I hope this was able to help anybody out there you know just a little educational thing thing here and there so like and subscribe thank you